to be the effect of the reforms. As they say, the proof of the pudding is in the yeet. Did the growth rate accelerate after the reforms as compared to the previous period? For example, in India, between 1952 and 1980, the average rate of growth was 3.5%. Of course, in 1980 to 1990, the growth rate was higher at 5.6%. But then that period was marked, as I mentioned to you earlier, by a high current account deficit and by a high fiscal deficit, which resulted in the crisis of 1991 and to a stop and a steep decline in the growth rate in 1901. If you look at the period from 92, 93, 92, 93 to 2000, 2001, the average rate of growth was 6.2%. 2001, 2 to 2010, 11, it was 7.69. From 2011, 12, it is 6.5 up to 2019-20. After that, of course, as you know, because of the COVID, it was a negative growth. Therefore, I'm not taking that into, into account. In fact, the best period was after 2006. Between 2005-06 and 2007-08, the average rate of growth of the economy was more than 9%. But if you add another three years also, the average rate of growth was 8.7%, and that included uh, the year 2008-9, uh, when we had uh, the international economic crisis, the financial uh, crisis. So on the whole, you will see the growth performance higher in the post-reform period. But then, since 2011-12, the growth rate has been falling. Now, there is very, that's one important